First time since a shooting at Morgan State University, the campus once again the host of a football game. WJZ's Christina Mendez staying in your corner tonight as students, staff, and the community now navigate through new safety measures that were just put in place. As one of the first major events open to the public following the shooting, some say that all eyes are on those security measures already put into place. The Bears are back on their home turf for the first football game at Hughes Memorial Stadium since a mass shooting on campus. The gunfire left five people hurt, including four students, following homecoming coronation. The incident put a pause on classes, a spoil on other homecoming events, and had the university beefing up their public safety measures. Thursday evening, the community, including alumni Glenny Moore, wraps their arms around Morgan State. Well, I decided to come out here to, to band together, support not just the students, but faculty and family. Um, this is healing for us. The incident is acting as a catalyst for security changes on campus. The university president recently announcing multi million dollar plans to include enclosing 90% of campus. Already, the school has increased their police presence. Added some more officers, so that's good to see. I just hope the community feels safe. And coming out in the future. The shooting is still under investigation, with law enforcement working to track down one of two named suspects from Washington, D.C. A 17 year old is in custody, facing charges for attempted murder, while U.S. Marshals are helping to search for 18 year old Joven Williams. While some remain shaken from the shooting, Natasha Outlaw, a parent of a student athlete on the field, says the spirit of the game is a cause for community. They've had a week and a time to spend time together, pray together, bond together, and get back to their foundation. There are two rewards, up to $19,000 being offered for information leading to the arrest of the second suspect. We are told by law enforcement that Williams is considered armed and dangerous. I'm reporting from Morgan State University's campus. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ. All right, Christina, thank you.